Hello everyone, I'm Naveen Agarwal and this video is part of a brand new series I'm launching to give you quick two minute answers to some of the questions you are asking me after watching my in-depth videos on my YouTube channel. First of all, thank you for watching those videos and reaching out to me. This question many of you have asked me after taking a COVID-19 antibody test. You have received a number and you are wondering if this number is low or high. Do you have immunity or you do not have immunity to COVID-19? So I'll answer this question very quickly by making a few key points for clarification and better understanding. First of all, not every antibody test can give you a number. Only about 10 or so tests have been authorized by the US FDA for what they call semi-quantitative results, meaning they can report a number. Most of the antibody tests will either tell you whether it's reactive or non-reactive, pass, fail, yes, no, which is called qualitative testing. Now, second point, if you have received a number, make sure that you understand that you cannot compare that number with somebody else's number from another test. You cannot say my number is low or higher compared to some other test because each test is different. Number three is to understand if it's high or low, you have to compare it with the minimum value and the maximum value, what we call the range of that specific test. And you will find this information in the IFU or instructions for use posted on, let's say, FDA's website if the test is FDA authorized. If it is somebody else's test somewhere else, you will have to look for that information with the test. And usually it is available. You can ask the manufacturer or the lab who did the test. So whether it's high or low depends upon the range. I hope it helps you understand that scenario a little bit better. In terms of immunity, I will talk about it in other videos, but quick point is just because you have positive antibodies based on a test result doesn't mean that you have absolute immunity or it's going to last for a long time. So it's a much more complex topic. Stay tuned for another video on that particular question. I hope it helps. Let me know if you have any more questions and make sure to subscribe to this channel to learn more.